God, people are stupid. People are so freaking stupid when it comes to this. Ah, oh, this makes my head hurt. I've heard this so many different places. I've heard people, people. I've seen people's statuses on Facebook. I've seen people's tweets on Twitter. I've seen people's YouTube. I've seen people ranting and raving on forum websites. This is just fucking everywhere. I've heard it from my brother's friends on Xbox Live. That this is just such a big fucking deal. And you know who it's a big fucking deal to? White people. I always see white people complaining about this one fucking thing. Recently, it was revealed in Fantastic Four that Johnny Storm will be played by a black man. Roar of comic book fanatics just coming in and just being like, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. Jesus. Like, why is race such a big deal? And I get they want it to look as accurate to the comics as it can. But here's the thing. Look at the comic books. How many black people are represented in comic books? How many people of any other race is represented in comic books? Yes, there are quite a fucking few. But, how many white superheroes are there? Look at like one of the strongest superheroes, Superman, white guy. White guy. <laughs> Strongest guy. Hulk, white guy. Captain America, white guy. Captain America, it took him to die, I think a couple times to die. It took Bucky to be Captain America. And finally, after all these fucking years in the comic books, Captain America's finally a black guy. They had, they had to go through two Captain Americas for there to be a black Captain America. I just find that kind of amusing. You have all these different, like, I mean, and in the comic books, they change shit. Sure, sometimes it might not be the same character, but here's the thing, like, changing somebody's race, or changing somebody's hair color, or changing somebody's fucking anything, fucking anything, except their character. Changing their actual character, that's where you need to start drawing the line a little bit. But even that, very flexible, except, especially when the original fucking creators are working on the fucking movie. The original creators are working on the movies too. Marvel Studios is in there working on these fucking movies. It's not like they're voiceless. It's not like... These companies are going to sit there and not listen to them and just do whatever the fuck they want. Yes, they might get away with a lot of shit. But seriously, it's not like these comic book studios aren't okay with some of with some of these stuff that everybody's fucking freaking out about. It's ridiculous. I mean, like, why does it fucking matter what the character looks like? I mean, people were complaining about... Channing Tatum playing Gambit. Channing fucking Tatum playing Gambit. When I look at Gambit, when I've seen Gambit in the cartoons, in the Marvel comics, pretty much anything that I've seen him in except X-Men Origins Wolverine, because that little pipsqueak was shitty, I see a tall buff dude. Like, not, maybe not that big, but every time I've seen Gambit, he's had a fucking six-pack, and he's been, like, one of the tallest characters in the fucking room. I have no problem with Channing Tatum playing him, and, like, people, yes, there are people that don't think Channing Tatum is a good enough actor to play Gambit, but there are still tons of people that look at Channing Tatum and like, I don't see Gambit there. I don't see Gambit. They, it's like, it's weird. They just want this short, skinny guy with long hair to play Gambit. When, you know, Gambit usually has a six pack and is usually pretty fucking tall. I have not seen Gambit be that short. He's usually a tall dude. 
He's usually not that fucking small. Why do people seem to think that he's fucking small? He's a fucking superhero. He probably works out a bunch, too. Ah, Channing Tatum, I think, is going to do fucking fine as Gambit. That It actually kind of makes sense to me. Oh, God. People just focusing, focusing, focusing so much on how a comic book character looks when you should be focusing on, is this actor good enough? It's not about if they look the part. That ship has fucking sailed. And you can look the part, but still look different. You can be the same character, but still look different. It's not about looking the part anymore. What it should be about, and what it should always be about, is fucking, fucking actors. Their ability. Go to their ability. And yes, Jenny Tatum has had a questionable thing to be playing a character like this. But you know what? He's been doing pretty good and he's been growing. I will give him that. He has been growing. And I find him funny. I think he'll do fine. You should be looking at the character. Of the actor. The actor. Look at the actor. Look at him. Look at the actor. Just look at the fucking actor. Now the thing is, when a character gets turned white, I don't hear as much. Star Trek, Into Darkness, Khan is a pale-ass British person. And Benedict Cumberbatch is a good actor, but he did not play that character that good. There is nothing about good about his role as Khan. Nothing. Nothing. He was, like, just completely different in every single way, shape, and form. Other people in the, sh in the movie, Kirk really tries to resemble what Kirk is. Spock really, really tries to resemble what Spock is. Carl Urban does an amazing job resembling what Bones was. Simon Pegg does an awesome job resembling what Scotty was. And yes, there are changes to the characters a bit and changes to the mannerisms that's because it's a different actor and when a different actor plays something they're gonna have different mannerisms but when you look at Benedict Cumberbatch playing Khan you can just tell it was just a bad decision no offense to Benedict Cumberbatch I have seen him in Sherlock I have seen him act he is an amazing actor 100% amazing fucking actor but he was just not the right pick for Khan Noonan Singh. If you go back to the original Khan Noonan Singh, it's a Spanish guy. It's Ricardo fucking Montalban. That's not white. It's a Spanish guy. And then you, you go back and you look at his character. And his character is completely different than what Benedict Cumberbatch came out with. So there was not one fucking thing that made me think that it was Khan except them saying, This is Khan! Oh, I guess that's Khan! And yes, there are people that do bitch about Khan being whitewashed. And there are usually people that are women. Or, like, most, like, I hear feminists talking about it. Don't hear too many white people talking about it. That's just from me. I have not heard that many white people complain about it. I hear white people just, like, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Keep it, keep it white. Fucking whitewashing. You don't hear too many white people complaining about fucking whitewashing. It's there. It's out there. It's fucking out there. And people will say, if you complain about certain movies being whitewashed, like the fact that there are Disney movies that are completely there are Disney movies that have different races in them but most Disney princess movies are full of white people people complains like oh what is the fucking animation 
Why do you give a shit about animation? Because, and you know why white people's, like, a lot of white people will not talk about fucking whitewashing? It's because white people are being represented. They're all being represented. You have no room to fucking talk. Us white people, we have no room to talk. Because we are represented. We have been represented so many fucking times. Now I'm not saying completely get rid of white people in movies. That'd be ridiculous because there's a lot of white people out there that are fantastic actors. So you should just not get rid of everybody. But I'm saying you should just be fucking... Just look at the acting ability before you look at somebody's race. Thank you.